Thanks for watching. In part 2, I will focus on building the Gen 8 board. First step is to transfer the plan onto a corpus sheet. Because the corpus sheet may not be a perfect rectangular sheet, I demonstrate here with a little bit of exaggeration to illustrate my point. I measured the dimensions from different edges, and this could create issues when I draw the plan onto the sheet. And with the lengthwise measurements, I suggest always to start off from the same end. As you can see, I, I didn't get the rectangle I wanted after I folded the paper. To work around this, I suggest creating the center line and base the measurements of the center line. The midpoint is at 30 inches, but you can see at 30 inches, it's aligned with the, the side wall of the channel here. So in order to establish the center line, I have to move it a little bit, offset it a little bit, uh, yeah, about one eighth of an inch. This center line is not really exactly what right at the middle of the 30 inches, instead a little bit off because of the channel. When I push down, I want the, uh, the wheel will be start pushing down at the center of the channel rather than right on the edge. I don't have a long ruler, so I Starting from here, I look at the space of the channel, then I do marking on it. Then I, I will join these lines to these points together to form a center line. I use pencil because it gives me a finer point than using a marking pen. After I have transferred the plan onto the sheet, the next step is to create the full lines. As shown on the plan, I have to cut off part of the coral plus sheet to form the shape of the boat. I score the top surface of the coral plus with a cutter. Then I bend the coral plus. And it will be really easy to cut off the second layer of the coral plus as shown. In my next video, part 3, I will show you how I created the double folded wall in details. Please subscribe and give me feedback. Appreciate that. Thanks for watching.